My pillow is about 14 and a half inches wide and 19 inches around. I'm going to cut out a rectangle of fabric 3 fourths of an inch wider than the pillow to allow for seam allowance. And I'm going to cut it about one and a half times longer than the circumference of the pillow so there's enough fabric to gather. Measure the diameter of your pillow. Divide by two and add one inch. Then cut two pieces that are this measurement that we just calculated by the circumference of your pillow plus one inch. Fold down the short ends, one quarter inch and press, then fold them over themselves and press again. Once both short sides are pressed down, press down the long side so that the ribbon can go through it. Fold it one quarter inch all the way down, and then fold it at three eighths of an inch all the way down. This will make a little pocket for your ribbon to go through. Okay, here's a little tip to make your corners look good when you're done. Once you've pressed these seams, see there's like a fold line here, fold line here, and then we have the two fold lines on this side. Um, fold down your corner. And then Fold it back along the two quarter inches along the side. That leaves this kind of little triangle shape here at the end. And when you later sew this side down, it'll be this nice tucked in corner for your ribbon to run through. Whereas if you don't fold it down, it just kind of bunches up. And you can see the raw edge. Okay, I've got my corner folded down and I'm ready to sew. I'm just gonna go right down the center of our quarter inch pin. Now I'm going to sew along the long edge one quarter inch from the edge. Next, create gathers in the body piece for the pillow. Turn your stitch length as long as they go and stitch 3 eighths of an inch from the edge of the long side. It's a great idea to use contrasting thread so you can pull these stitches out later. After creating my first gather line, I want to make one an inch and a quarter in from that gather line and then another one at three and a quarter inches from the first gather line. And so I could set out my fabric and mark all the way down um, with like a washout pencil or something so that I could try just stitch along the line. But I think it's a little bit easier to just line it up so that um, you're right at where you want to sew the one and a quarter inch under your presser foot and then put a piece of masking tape here beside it and I can use this all the way down as I'm sewing as a stitch guide for where to line it up. When I'm ready to do this line, I'll just line it up again, put my tape down and be able to stitch all the way. I don't even have to mark the other side because my tape's already set up.
So next I'm going to use this outside line to gather my fabric till it's the same length as the side pieces that I already sewed. And actually I'm going to leave it um, three fourths of an inch longer so that there's seam allowance on this side, three eighths inch, and another three eighths inch here. So it'll line up like this, where there's just a little bit of extra here um, so that I can sew together the pillow without sewing in the side seams into it. You'll see how that works in a minute. But for now, we're gonna gather this so that it's the same length. So create gathers, just take one side, take the blue side and pull and that'll create gathers and then you can redistribute them so that they're evenly spaced once you get it to about the right length. Okay, I'm gonna gather the other two lines of ruffles as well so that it's all the same length and then we will stitch these two down so that they stay and this will go to the side so it'll stay. Something that's really important for this project to turn out is that you get your um, ruffles evenly spaced. So here's what they look like when they're just, it's the right length but they haven't, I haven't spread them out yet. On this side, I've spent more time spreading out the ruffles to where they're really even, and it looks a lot more finished and a lot prettier than this side that I still have to work on. So I'm gonna work on this side next. Okay, so I just cut out four strips that are long enough to go around the pillow. And these are what's gonna hold these inner ruffles in place. And I'm just gonna make sure that these ruffles are really even before I sew it down. I still have a little bit more straightening yet to do. Um, and then I'm gonna put this on the back side of the fabric underneath the ruffle and then sew on top of it. Here, let me show you. So that there's something flat for the ruffles to hold on to. So I'm gonna do that to this ruffle and to this ruffle, but this one is gonna attach to the side piece so it doesn't get messed with yet. Okay, so I stitched down the ruffles to these little half inch strips and I removed the gather stitches that were in the contrasting color, except for the ones on the very edge because that needs sewn to the side pieces. So you're gonna take your side piece, lift the right side up, Take your body piece with the right side down and I'm just going to pin all along here leaving three eighths of an inch 
on either side. So I have the side pieces attached to the center piece on both sides. So now I'm going to take the whole thing, fold it in half this way. And we're gonna stitch from here to here. And that'll be the last seam of the pillow. <laughs> 